Hello EDLT 560 Adventurers, just me again making a quick screencast because it was in the discussion for week two of unit three about supporting online learners the importance of uh, having a calendar. So I just wanted to visit the calendar that's built into Canvas because it really is a useful tool and you can sync it with your other calendars um, through the settings. So when you log into your course, and of course this, this is my interface because I have lots of courses. You may have lots of courses as well, but everybody has this toolbar at the top. So when I click on calendar, hopefully this screencast will not get interrupted by the lightning storm that I hear outside. I can see uh, the lightning and hear the thunder. And when I click on calendar, I have calendars for several different courses and I have selected, just deselected this course, but I'm going to reselect it. So when your course list comes up over here, select the course that you're interested in and this is color coded. So the green here indicates that everything with this color comes from EDLT 560. Here's the month of September and this reflects what is in the course in terms of dates and times. So that's a very handy uh, feature to have and you can scroll ahead up here. It may take uh, a little bit of time. You can see the circling there for things to load. And here's the October calendar due dates for EDLT 560. And so that's just the quick and dirty. You can look at it by month, by week versus month. And you can add your own stuff. You can create a new event. Now, I'm going to go back to the month of September and scroll down a little bit. You can also see here some color coding that indicates that there are things that were set for these dates. And these are the details. And here we are on the 17th. Uh, when you scroll down, there's a calendar feed. Copy the link, paste it into any calendar app that takes an iCal feed. You can put it in your Google Calendar, you can put it in your Outlook if you have an iCalendar. Um, so I can click, uh, highlight, I do the copy, you can hear, see the feed. This is all adventure learning for me. I've never done this, but it might be useful to those of you who want to have a RSS feed into your calendar. It's, it's trying. It's really trying to uh, get to where we can view the feed. We're waiting and we're waiting. I'm going to just put this on pause. All right, so this is what happened when this thing finally did its thing. It downloaded a file, at least on my Mac. Now it might be different. And uh, it opened up my iCal because I'm on a Mac. And it's going to uh, ask me to add this information to a, a designated. So I'm going to call it my work and I'm going to say OK. And there it is. Voila. It just sucked all that same information to something that's on my desktop such that I don't have to log into the course. And depending on what tool you use, um, what operating system you're on, you do have to have something that takes something that's in an iOS format, which, which Google will. But that's how easy it is to do the RSS feed. And I can close this, but now it's going to continually be pulling in information from this calendar such that you don't have to log into the course and you can integrate this information into your other calendars that you maintain. So thanks fellow uh, EDLT adventurers in your discussion posts for bringing this topic up and I just want to make sure people understood the uh, power of the calendar canvas function and how you can integrate it into your uh, into your life and other tools that you use. So. I'm looking forward to your continued wonderful discussion posts and have a great week.